confetti. Streamer here with airplanes, bugs, flowers, cars, people, guitars, little bits and pieces of this and that. Then they are those spiders, birds, crawfish, ducks, city streets, buildings, lakes, and trees. What do you think it all means? Soap opera, what? Soap opera, villains, heroes, body works, weird visual stuff, weird oral stuff, music, water, rocks, flying saucers, UFOs, street festivals, confetti, 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 confetti. 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 Born in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, lived there till I was about seven. At that point, our, my family moved to uh, Miami, Florida, and I lived there till I was about uh, 25 years old. I grew up there, went to school there, and began college there. Did not finish college there. Uh, at an early point in, in my life, I did go to work for Delta Airlines and have had like an early career there that's winding down slowly now. About 13 years ago I seriously got interested in art um, and have been mainly painting during that period of time and doing some printmaking. I got exposed to the formal education or the formal uh, art establishment through Guilford College about three years ago and, and got very much involved with contemporary art. Uh, most of my training on that level has been at Guilford. Uh, I've entered a few shows. I would like to consider myself as an emerging artist and now I hope to be able to devote more time to my art as my uh, other career winds down. And I, Hope to enjoy many good years of it. Is there any specific thing which sets you off into art? Well, um, no, it's just a very gradual thing. Uh, my family has a slight artistic background. Uh, my mother was a concert pianist when she was young. I have an uncle who was a very fine architect. Uh, on my father's side, I'm afraid there was no artistic uh, involvement. But I began uh, mainly painting, just uh, oil painting, from some very amateurish lessons that I received and uh, ev eventually led to uh, where I'm at at this point. Well, when I first met you, uh, I was through another artist, Matt Myers, and He'd mentioned you were helping him with actually pra practical concerns as far as electricity and how he, how to get lights to light up, you know, a project of his. So I thought that was a neat si side of you to find out you were an artist as well. Well, yeah, there was a brief uh, period in my life where electronics uh, was my livelihood. Um, at one time, I was an electronics technician, worked for a company in Miami, and we worked on ship shore radios and manufactured them. And I got my education in, uh, in electronics uh, many, many years ago. I still have the current necessary FCC license to operate a radio station, but uh, I don't find that I have the interest in that anymore. When you first went to school, what was it that you studied? Your Art history. Art history. Um, sort of coming back. Um, and that was probably the single most revolutionary thing that happened to me. Uh, I kind of was on my own as to grabbing knowledge of art and I learned to appreciate all types of art and uh, all styles uh, from getting involved in studying art history. It's a lot easier to understand art when you at least attempt to understand why it was done. And this, this was the big point that I uh, did get from studying the art history. And I recommend it to anybody who's interested in art. It will shed so much more light onto it. So around us we've got various pieces of your work. Is there any one that you really, really, really like? 
over the other one. My mama one. noticed it. She does. Well, that's a very, that is a hard question. It perhaps should not be, but uh, there are a few that are my favorites, I would say. Um, for example, uh, the flower arrangement, I believe you're panning in on it right now, uh, which I call con um, obligations. It has, to me, uh, one of my first reasonably successful attempts to, to mesh a blend of realism and abstract art together in a very free, spontaneous uh, piece of work. It was probably one of my most successful in that standpoint. Uh, I think it's colorful with a, a good working combination of colors. It's slightly mysterious and yet it's recognizable by most any eye. It, it's not totally abstract. Yes, uh, and some of the characters, some of the expressions on the uh, smaller figures are also a little whimsical, uh, a little unexpected, let's say. That's a very complicated piece, and uh, I really hate to try and spill my guts to you about it, but. Uh, let me just say this, that it has to do with some how, how I feel about the human being perhaps blindly going through life. Uh, the good, the bad, the problems, the choices, and how it reacts to those situations. But, uh, that's a pretty complex piece there, if you really stop and analyze it. I think all of these pieces uh, show a desire and interest to be color oriented and color expressive. Uh, why, why not black and white? Well, I just started to say uh, I have nothing against black and white and it can be a very powerful uh, tool and a very powerful medium. Uh, let, let me just say that I personally was awakened to the power of color more so in the last couple of years. And I think it can be a very powerful and exciting tool. Uh, it can be also quite difficult. Quite difficult. But most of these pieces are colorful. Very colorful. Um, I hope from this show to uh, even focus uh, more clearly and more precisely on the human struggle or that, that the human that the struggle the human being has when he goes through life uh, how he is able to handle a decision <laughs>